If you focus on the outcome of your goals and look back at where you are now and then use the gap between those two places to make yourself feel bad and insufficient and not good enough, well, that will be your reality. However, if you can start teaching yourself how to shift your thoughts so that you focus on the process of working toward your goals, the bigger impact of that is that it will help you learn how to value all the lessons you're learning along the way and it will start to increase your self-love, your self-belief and your confidence in learning to trust yourself. Have you ever been to a carnival or an amusement park and played some of the games they have? Well, even if you haven't played it yourself, I'm sure you've at least seen what's called a high striker game. That looks like this, where the goal is to hit the target as hard as you can, the meter rises based on how hard you hit the target, and if you get a high score, you'll receive a prize. Now, as in life, there are two types of people who play this game. There are people who, after they've hit the target, they watch the meter as it rises and get more and more excited with each incremental rise that they get in the game. And just when they think the meter is going to stop, it goes up just one more increment, which produces even more excitement and a sense of pride in what they've done. Even if they don't achieve their exact goal of reaching the top of the meter, this person is so focused on the process of moving toward their goal that they celebrate every new step forward that they make. And so we're going to call this individual a process-focused thinker who focuses their thoughts on the rise of the meter. There's someone who enjoys the process of working toward their goals and sees value in the the progress they're making regardless of where they are in terms of achieving their overall goals. This person still sets goals and cares about their goals, but they simultaneously understand that there can be a tremendous amount of learning and growth that happens along the way to one's goals and that it's important to be conscious of that and to value those things because they can then use the progress they're making to positively influence how they're feeling about themselves as a human, including things like increasing their self-belief and confidence, which can then have a positive impact on how they feel every day and on the continued action that they take toward their goals. On the other hand, the second type of person who plays the high striker game is what we call an outcome focused thinker who focuses their thoughts on what I'll call the gap. Once they've hit the target, this is the person whose eye is keenly fixed to the top of the game, waiting for the meter to rise up to achieve their ultimate goal. And as the meter rises, their focus is on the gap between where the meter currently is and the top of the meter. And although their initial thoughts during the game might sound something like, oh, it's going up, I'm so excited, as the rise of the meter starts to slow down as it approaches the point at which it will completely stop, this person's thoughts quickly turn to something like, oh no, it is still so far away, it can't be, I need to do better, I guess I'm just not good enough. So again, this is someone who is more outcome focused, whose focus is on the gap between where they are now and where they want to be. And then they're using the gap between those two places to make themselves feel bad about what they haven't yet accomplished and what negative things that gap means about them as a human. I can share with you that for most of my life, certainly throughout all of my 20s, I was a very outcome focused person. I had extremely perfectionistic thinking. I was very hard on myself and had unrealistic expectations. And I spent most of my young adult years struggling to figure out how to love myself exactly as I was. And I simply couldn't figure out how not to tie my sense of self-worth to my achievements. However, after many years of self-reflection and work on my own emotional development, I gradually started to understand the impact of these two different ways of thinking about things. And I taught myself how to become a more process focused person, which has completely changed my life. And so in this video, I want to share with you some of the things that I learned along the way that helped me become a person who is able to derive my self-worth from being proud of myself throughout all the ups and downs as I work toward my goals, rather than being someone who ties their self-worth to their outcomes and accomplishments in life. What you focus on will become your reality. And so if you focus on the outcome of your goals and look back at where you are now and then use the gap between those two places to make yourself feel bad and insufficient and not good enough, well, that will be your reality. However, if you can start teaching yourself how to shift your thoughts so that you focus on the process of working toward your goals, the bigger impact of that is that it will help you learn how to value all the lessons you're learning along the way, even through tough moments and failures. And by focusing on what you can learn through those situations, 
and how you can be proud of yourself for being brave enough to acknowledge those things, it will start to increase your self-love, your self-belief, and your confidence in learning to trust yourself. And if this is what you focus on, then you will learn how to strengthen yourself mentally and emotionally, even when you're experiencing hard things in life. Okay, so then let's dive into three steps you can take to help you become a more process-focused thinker. Although before we do that, if you could take a quick second to like this video, it would really help this channel in reaching and helping more people. Step one, become conscious of what you're focusing on. The first step to becoming a more process-focused thinker is in becoming conscious of what it means to have a more process-focused or outcome-focused way of thinking. And since we've already gone over the differences between the two ways of thinking, which one are you? When it comes to life and our goals, are you generally focused more on the rise or the gap? Are you someone who is more process focused and you're able to see the value of progress you're making along the way and to determine your self-worth based on that? Or are you more outcome focused where you tend to focus on the gap between where you are now and where you want to be and then you unconsciously use that gap to negatively impact your self-worth? Let me know your answer in the comments. And remember, I was an outcome focused person for most of my life until about 10 years ago. So if that's you, you are definitely not alone. Step two, develop a growth mindset. Having a growth mindset means you believe that you can develop yourself and your abilities. And so if you aren't successful with something on your first attempt, instead of giving up because you believe you failed and that's the end of it, because you believe that you can develop and improve yourself, you'll just adjust the strategies you're using and try again. And when you approach your goals with that type of mentality, everything you do becomes a part of the process. This will sound something like, I tried this and it didn't work yet. Let me figure out what I can learn from that and I'll try something else next and try to improve things, right? Developing a growth mindset will help you to shift your thinking toward being process focused. And step three, refocus your thoughts. Instead of focusing on if you've achieved your end result yet or not, you can use my six positive reframing tools to start refocusing your thoughts on more constructive things like progress, learning, growth, gratitude, acceptance, and patience. I have an entire video that I'll link to here that goes over exactly how to shift our thoughts toward these things, so please don't forget to check that out next. And you can also download my free guide called How to Love Your Life No Matter What, which goes over my core framework for doing this work and has worksheets you can use to practice refocusing your own thoughts on the process of working toward your goals instead of focusing on the outcome. I can't can't express how much this single shift in how I think has completely changed my life and how I feel about myself. Now, just because it's a single shift though, doesn't mean it's an easy one. First, we have to understand the value of making this shift. We have to believe that it can possibly impact our lives and how we feel about ourselves. And then we have to practice reframing our thoughts over and over again every day until we've developed a new habit of focusing our thoughts on the process of working toward our goals in life. I know you can do it too.